live action phone cord. You forgot your phone cord. <laughs> I know. Don't, don't Test. Need phone. It's Test. Wireless. Did you hit the red button? The red button. That's oh. what I said. Live action. Oh, that's what. That's what that means. That's why you said live action. Shh, they can hear us. We haven't right, started let's, yet. Let's get it rolling. Go for it. <clears throat> Hello everybody, I'm Will Reed. And I'm Langdon Reed. And we are Wilson Fairchild. We're in the truck out in the country in a beautiful spring day. So glad to be visiting with you. Um, share stories and memories. And times that have gone by. Look out the window and see the buds on the trees. Just offer life's comments. I don't I don't think that was working either. No. Let's just get back to being ourselves. Okay, um, everything good in your world? Uh, everything's pretty good. How about, how, how about you? What you've been up to? Everything's good. You've been doing any All shopping? Well, been doing any shopping? Yeah. Uh, like, well, no, not that. Uh, you know, no. I like, don't. That's a that's a strange question. I think. Well, no, like clothes. I mean, clothes like, hey, shopping? man, how you doing? Everything good in your world? The family good? You've been doing shopping? You you you, you, been, you don't hear that often either. You've been doing shopping? No. <laughs> you popping corn? <laughs> Um, so, no, I was asking you about shopping because, uh... You got had, shopping on the brain? Well, I've had some real clothes dilemmas lately. Uh, I wanted to talk about my closet, and I just didn't know if you wanted to talk about it or not. Absolutely. You want to? Well, yeah, I mean, when I woke up this morning, I'm like, man, I need a cup of coffee. Oh, wonder what Will's closet situation is like today. Which is like that. Were you dressed before or after that thing about the coffee? The like, coffee? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you get dressed first thing, don't you? Yeah. Or you go down like Darren Stevens... And like matching pajamas and a robe and a kerchief. Yeah, yeah. I still. Do I think kerchief. kerchief it goes back to another decade. Yeah. but I'm not completely sure what the kerchief is or even its purpose. But I think it was to hold in the heat. Is that what it was? I'm sure. It I is. read about it in those older poems. That's why you. Yeah. I guess they slept. They must have slept really good because in <laughs> all those cartoons and stuff, they're sleeping hard with their kerchief on. Kerchief was strong in in olden times. That's exactly right. No, I don't. I don't wear a lot of kerchiefs when I sleep. No, anymore. so no, I usually, uh, I usually, you know, shower. I take the kerchief off, then shower, and then, yeah. and then get dressed. And then oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. Okay. You're talking about morning routine, but we're talking about your closet. Yeah, let's so. talk about my closet. What about your closet? Um, no, I think, I think, you know, clothes shopping changes with age. I think, you know, it changes with people phases. Whether it's you know, people yeah. like. Women have always been famous for they love to shop and buy new things and buy new shoes. And typically in the past, you know, men aren't shoppers, you know. Right. But, you know. That's why they put the benches in malls. Right. Yeah. In olden times again. Right. But we come from sophisticated hillbillies (laughs) that, you know, uh, we're in country music. Clothes was always really important to our dads, and it should have been, you know. And 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 have been to us. And I'll be be the first to tell you, I enjoy a good shop. You know, the, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You'll leave through some, some yes. shirts and some coats and some khakis I, I, and a heartbeat. I inherited right. that from my mother. I ain't scared to go <laughs> to a mall and buy some shoes. You know, <laughs> right? Hey, speaking of that, I remember one time we were in Nashville at the mall. Uh huh. I think I was in a Williams Sonoma. Okay. I ran into Reba. As in Reba McIntyre. Reba McIntyre. Really? I was in there looking at overpriced pots. Yeah. And I look up, there she is. There she is. I was like, what Mine, is And it? they were just pots to her. Right. Because she could afford them. She could afford them. <laughs> to me, they were overpriced pots. But yeah. I did. I said, well, how are you, how are you doing? And yeah. uh, it was a nice little conversation we had well, right there. good. In the, the Sonoma. But anyway, uh-huh. back to my closet. Yeah. Um, no, or, you know, you and I, we've done this for years. We like looking at boots and shoes, and we, we shop and, yeah. and find a cool shirt we like. I get enjoy excited a good about haberdasher. But something about life changes it for me that I don't care anymore. I know. It's not that I don't want to look not like I, you know, I picked this out. I'm, I'm, you know, I do this a lot now. Right. It's not that like I'm saying like, hey, give me some dirty, wrinkled clothes. No, not that like, kind of care. No, it's, like it's, I've settled into my Jay Leno shirts. Like I like wearing these denim shirts, right. like Jay Leno. Yeah. And uh, all that, but my closet. Let's get back to my closet. Do you I, have I like have... 214 sports cars like Jay Leno, or is that? No, just the shirts. No, he and Reba McIntyre have expensive things. I got you. I just have old shirts and a whole expensive <laughs> old, old pots. Old comfortable shirts because you don't care. <laughs> I got it. But no, I, my closet drives me crazy. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I keep things for long periods of time. Some things don't fit. Some things are out of style. Some things I don't wear anymore. But I keep them because uh, they're mine. 
Right. And I paid for them. Yes. There we done split up some walkers. We right did. Right and left. They're on. They they're, flanked. Did they flank us? They did. They split <laughs> flanked right here on the country road. <laughs> um, no, I don't know if everybody's like this or just me, but there's some things that you, you got clothing that is sentimental. Like I remember yeah. why I wore it or why I bought it. Right. Right. Um, or, you know, I'm bad about, uh, and I got this from dad. I know where I got it from. I'm bad about have to, having to have an outfit for every occasion. <laughs> and this is everything and, from chainsaw to tuxedo. Yes. I was going to say occasion is, yeah, everything. I mean, like, how, how about you? Well, well yeah, absolutely. You know, I, you, uh, I, I got a shirt there that I haven't worn in years, maybe in your closet, but you're mm -hmm. like, well, you know, if I ever want to like lay some mulch or something, that'd be a good shirt. <laughs> it's a good mulching shirt. Right. Right. You know, I don't yeah. even know what, what classifies it that way. No. But it is. Up, it, it makes sense up here. Yeah. So even though I haven't worn that shirt in, in years, mm -hmm. literally, I, I think, well, there might be, just in case, that mm -hmm. time when I go get a load of mulch and, and I want to put that shirt on. Sure. But then that's happened before, too. And I'll, you know, you just, I'm out and I'll just get the mulch and I'll just put it down and then I even forget about that shirt till like a year later when I should be cleaning out my closet again. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's still I'm, there. I'm worse than that because I've got, you know, I've got stuff that I work in all the time, like yeah. my favorite Carhartt shirt. I've got holes in like the the uh, sleeve or mm -hmm. the, the, the neck is starting to come apart. Yeah. But I love that shirt. It's I like, yeah, I love the way it fits. Right. I love the way I think it looks and I work in it. It's not like I'm getting I dressed know. up and going to work, I know. but it's my favorite. Um, then I've got like old dress shirts that I don't use for dress anymore, but I'll like wear cattle in them and they'll have like stains on them. Right. But why, why you dirty up a new shirt? Right. I wear the old shirt. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, if I, if I might go golf in the future, I, I got a clean golf shirt. You know, it's gotta be clean. It's gotta be the right it's shirt. Be, it's gotta be ready. Uh huh. Right there. In the I closet. know there's an out of date tuxedo in my closet and somewhere. Well, yeah, but just in case, just in case, and just in case she calls and invites you to prom. Just in case. You know, there's still a chance. Right. You, you know, know, things might change. Uh, one of the funniest ones that happened to me, yeah. um, somebody had given me a pair of corduroy pants for Christmas a few years ago, right? Yep, yeah, got his cords. And they were not. And they were nice. Uh, I think they came from the Gap. They were like some Jay Leno or Reba McIntyre would wear. <laughs> wow. So anyway, uh, but they didn't quite fit, right? Right. But I'm like, I, once I get finished eating meatballs here at Christmas, <laughs> they'll yeah. fit. And the pounds are just going to melt in, away. In January. Bam, you'll slide right in there. I'm going to slide right into them. Well, it didn't happen. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> so fast forward about 10 years. <clears throat> <clears throat> 10 years. I noticed these pants are still in my, my closet. But they're like made like, like jeans. They're like five pockets. <laughs> They're like five pocket styling, so you know they're not going to go out of style. That is a nice pair of cords. That's a nice pair of five pocket cords, right? Right. So I, I pull them back out, and I found out <laughs> 10 years later they still didn't fit. Are you serious? But then my son had grown to man size. Right. I hand them to him. And he doesn't eat as many meatballs as you do. No. So. They fit him perfect. Boom. And lo and behold, I've been keeping them for him. Yeah. I had no idea. You bought he him. He was a just a little tyke when I first got him. <laughs> but do you think that's normal? You bought him a nice pair of five pocket cords ten years ago and didn't even know it. Yeah. So now he wears pants like Jay Leno and Reba from the Gap, and I'm still wearing my old stuff. <laughs> you still got that old tattered up Carhartt shirt. That's right. Oh um, gosh. I uh, yeah. I think men do. We all probably can come together and hold hands and agree that we have too many clothes. Why do we have to hold hands to talk well, about clothes? It just shows the commonality. Mm. And, um, Camaraderie or commonality? All that. Okay. So we should be, you know, cleaning out. I, I once heard a rule, somebody said this, that um, if you haven't worn it in a year, purge it. Get rid of it. You know what? Which is a great, it, I love it. It I, is I make so much sense. I wish I would oh, yeah. and could subscribe to that, but I don't. I don't. I clutter up uh, my my life sometimes I don't mean to. Yeah. I clutter it all up. Yeah. And, uh, but I, it's mine. I it's know. mine. I know. It's I, tough. You know, either, it's, I mean, it's, I, you know, it's like I paid $14 right. at the TJ Maxx in Charlotte, North Carolina for that. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Right. Because if I get rid of it, it's not worth anything anymore. Yeah. 
No, and I'm just kidding. Yeah. Because uh, you know, I do uh, I do move on clothes, and I, I you know donate stuff. And you know, if you're not wearing it anymore, it doesn't fit. You know, yes, absolutely. But I've still got too much stuff in my oh, closet. I know too much stuff. In and my I closet. think that the main thing is our, our thinking is the just in case. Uh, right. I don't know. I don't want to get rid of that right. quite yet. Mm -hmm. It's either not yet. I don't want to get rid of it. Or uh, be, just in case, though, because mm -hmm. I'm I, seriously, I might go home today and lay some mulch, and I need that shirt to wear for some reason. <laughs> Your mulch shirt. Yes. Yeah. I get it. Hey, and one more thing there before we get out of this conversation. Yeah. Back to Darren Stevens and him wearing matching pajamas. Mm -hmm. You know, I miss I miss that. Like we we've really gotten sloppy as a society. Yeah. You know, because you know, <clears throat> the day is over. I take my boots off. Yes. In my denim shirt, right? You know, and you go for the lounge pants. Yeah, I, so it's usually in right. a plaid, plaid or a flannel, uh, and put on some sort of really loose, comfortable shirt. I've got probably more house pants than I do khakis. <laughs> see, see, this is what I'm talking about. Yes, that's you know? important at yeah. this stage in my life. Right. So, um, you yeah. know, but I'd like to be able to go to Montgomery <laughs> Wards and buy a nice set of matching pajamas and a matching robe. Yeah. And wear around my house, but but I, Montgomery Wards—they're not in business anymore. No, it. I think my family would think I was looking down my nose at them. Like if they're wearing in flannel plaid and I'm in matching pajamas, I think you know they yeah. think I was just showing off, like right, like Jay or Reba, right, right. just being all uppity, uh -huh. yeah, big time in them, right, right there in your den, right. It's my family. Yeah, that's what keeps me from doing it. <laughs> just think if I added a kerchief. Oh my gosh! If I still, I got one at the house. Probably out of. Well, I got a few there at the house. I got one I don't wear Captain? anymore. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Are one. they like family heirlooms? You know, because honestly, I need to get rid of it because I don't mulch in that kerchief much anymore at all. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> please, please mulch in that hat sometime so I can come out and see you. Okay. Does when that, that happens, we promise to capture that moment. Is there a little fuzzy sure. ball on the end? Of course there is. Oh, okay. That's the definition of a kerchief. Oh, right? I got you. Yeah, no kerchief part of it. the fuzzy ball. Yeah. I got it. Whew. All right, good stuff. So, anyway, that's our <clears throat> closed uh, situation. Yeah. Is it a dilemma? I don't know if it's a dilemma. I think it's just a situation. It is a, it's a dilemma if you expose it, that problem. <laughs> it's a dilemma. Right. You know? Because yeah. I'm with you. I don't think it's healthy. No, it's not. I don't think it's healthy to keep clothes that you can't wear. Yeah. Purge your free, closet. Purge your closet. Free your space. Yes. I think that's what, what this is about. That's it. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Uh, we got a lot of hashtag words in that one. Yeah, we did. We could, we could figure out. Yeah. All I right. Remember all of them. Um, that was good. All right. We seriously, we got to go and <clears throat> clean out Will's closet. All right. Let's go look and see what's in there. Yeah. All right. Did I tell you I found a groundhog once in my closet? Oh, my God.